Hello, Yaster. How are you? Everything all right? Okay, are you ready to start our class number 11? Okay, let's go to our virtual classroom. And here we are. So here we can see we have the first thing for today, Discover English One Students Book, page number 92. So let's go together. Well, here we can see these super films, all right? We can see a girl and a boy, all right? And what's this? All right, to know what is this, we're going to pay attention to this dialogue, all right? And at the same time, we are going to listen to an audio, okay? This is a dialogue between Monica and Felix. So, we are going to pay attention to some words, all right? Look at them here. For example, here we can see didn't. Do you remember didn't? We are using it a lot, all right? Didn't is to perform negative sentences in the past. And then we have, for example, auxiliaries as did, okay, to make questions in the past. All right, so we're going to listen to the audio together, and at the same time, we are going to follow the dialogue, okay? Are you ready? Okay, let's listen to the audio together. Hi, Felix. What are you doing? Oh, hi. I'm looking for the DVD of Smallville. Gemma saw it last night, but I was at a football match. Did you see it? No, I didn't. Mum went out, and I didn't have my key. Oh, no. Where did she go? She went to the shops. I waited in the garden for an hour. It was so boring. Poor you. Wait a minute. I think Ben recorded Smallville last night. No, he didn't. I called him. He recorded the wrong program. What was it? It was Cook for Your Pet. Great. We can go to his house for dinner then. Oh no, yuck. Okay, did you pay attention to some past form verbs? Okay. Here we have, for example, so, all right? Then we have a question in the past. Did you see it? And to answer this question, Monica said, no, I didn't. Then we have another verb in the past, for example, went, okay? So try to pay attention to all the verbs in their past form. Okay, now we're going to do together exercise number two complete with the correct names. So, we have here a box with the names of the characters, Gemma, Felix, Monica, Monica's mom, and Ben. So, let's try to complete this exercise, and please, try to write your answers on the chat. Come on. Number one is done. Okay, let's read it. Felix is looking for a DVD. Okay, he's right, because he says, Oh, hi, I'm looking for the DVD of Smallville. All right, now we have to complete number two. We have someone who watched Smallville last night. Who is that person? Well, you can look at the dialogue and tell me who watched Smallville last night. Write your answer on the chat, come on. Yes, very good. Gemma saw it last night. So here we can compete with her name, just Gemma. All right, very good. Now let's do number three. Blah, blah, blah. Went to the shops. Who went to the shops? Try to look at the dialogue and tell me your answer on the chat. Come on. Try to look for the word shops in the dialogue. Did you find it? Very good. Here we have mom. Whose mom is this? Monica's mom. All right. And then she said that her mom went to the shops. Very good. So now we can complete that number three is, very good, Monica's mom. Excellent, very good. 
Well, now we have to do number four. So pay attention to number four. It says, somebody waited in the garden. So look at the dialogue again. Could you tell me who waited in the garden? All right, very good. Here we can see that Monica says that. She says, I waited in the garden for an hour. All right, so she is Monica. So we have to write her name over here, Monica. Very good. Excellent. Now, number four. Somebody recorded a program about pet food. All right. So, it's in this part. So, who is the person? All right. Well, we know that somebody recorded a program, okay? I found here the word program, okay? Well, so this person was Ben. Very good, because they are talking about Ben. So, which is the person who recorded a program about pet food? Very good. Our last option is Ben. Excellent, people. Very good. Now, if we go back to the virtual classroom again, we will find this handout, and its name is Super Films write yes or no. Okay, so to do this exercise, we must pay attention to the handout, of course, but at the same time, we have to look at the dialogue again. Okay, let's read it together. Super films, write yes or no, then correct wrong sentences. So every time we write no, we must correct the sentence, okay? So let's read the first one. The first one says, Felix saw Smallville last night. So if we write no, we must write, Felix didn't see Smallville last night. He was at a football match. So pay attention to this. We have the auxiliary didn't, and then what happened to the verb? The verb is in infinitive, all right? Recuerden que cada vez que tenemos el auxiliar didn't, el verbo figura en infinitivo. Okay, so let's read the next sentence. It says, Gemma went to the shops. All right, let's go to the dialogue again. We know, and we have something about Gemma here, all right? Do you find it? I can read it for you. Gemma saw it last night. They are talking about the Smallville DVD. All right, so here we have the verb in the past form. So if we write here, no, Gemma went to the shops, we are going to say no, okay? But we must correct this sentence. What can we write about Gemma? Gemma, come on, write your answer on the chat, people. I will be waiting for you, come on. Excellent, very good. We can write, Gemma saw, I'm going to put this here, okay? Come on, help me to continue writing this sentence. Gemma saw, do you remember what did she see? Gemma saw it last night. They are talking about Smallville. So we can write Gemma saw, what is the name? Very good. Smallville last night. And here we have corrected the sentence, okay? Well, let's do the following. Look at this. Monica's mom stayed at home. Okay, let's go to the dialogue again and look for Monica's mom. What could you say? Did you find Monica's mom in the dialogue? All right, so I found it. Here we have 
Monica said, said that her mom went to the shops. All right, she went to the shops. All right, so here, can we say yes or no? What do you think? Come on, right on the chat. Very good. Here we are saying no, okay? But can, what can we say about Monica's mom? We can say she, all right, very good. But I'm going to show you the dialogue again. Look at this. Very good. So we are going to write that she went to the shops. Very good, very good. Now, let's continue. Monica had her key, so waited at home. What happened to Monica? Look at, look at this. No, I didn't. Mom went out and I didn't have my key. Oh no, where did she go? She went to the shops. I waited in the garden for an hour. It was so boring. Okay, so here if we read Monica had her key so waited at home, what can we write, yes or no? Very good, no. Well, we must write what did she do. So we can say that she, let's see the dialogue again. I waited in the garden for an hour. So what can we write over here? Write your answer, your answer on the chat, come on. Very good, she waited in the garden for an hour. Excellent. Now, let's continue. Felix found Ben. Felix found Ben. Look for the word Felix in the dialogue. Did you find it? Very good. I can see Felix over here. And here, what can we read over here? Monica says, wait a minute. I think Ben recorded Smallville last night. And Felix answered, no, he didn't. I called him, I called him. He recorded the wrong program. Okay, so if here we read Felix phoned Ben, what can we say, yes or no? Yes, very good. So this is a correct sentence, all right? Very good. Now, look at the last sentence. Ben recorded Smallville. Okay, let's look here. Wait a minute. I think Ben recorded Smallville last night. No, he didn't. I caught him. He recorded the wrong program. What was it? It was, and here we have the name of the program. Cook for your pet, all right? This is the program that Felix recorded, all right? So here, if we read Ben recorded Smallville, what can we write? No, very good. And now help me to write this sentence. We must correct this sentence. So what can we write about Ben? Ben, come on, write your answer on the chat. I want to read your answers. Very good, we are going to use the same verb. Ben recorded, and we have the name of the program. Cook for your pet. All right, very good. Okay, look at all the verbs we write in past. All right, we have saw, then we can see went, waited, and finally recorded. All right, okay, very good. Remember that if you have any question, you can ask your teacher through the chat, okay? Well, let's continue. Here we have our next activity. Discover English One Students Book, page 93. So here we go. As you can see over here, we have a grammar box. 
and you remember how important grammar blocks are. All right, grammar boxes are. So here we can read past simple irregular questions. All right, so we have to look at this chart and pay attention that the only auxiliary we are going to use is did. Okay, can you see the personal pronouns here? All right, our subjects are you, he, she, it, we, and they. So what happened every time we must use the auxiliary did, the subject, what happened to the verb? All right, let's make some examples. For example, we are going to say, did you go to the shop? All right, look at the verb, children. Here we have the verb go, but it's in infinitive, all right? Can you see the verb in infinitive? Here, we can't use went. We are going to use go, okay? Did you go to the shop? Or for example, we, we can use a question with we. For example, did we see it? Okay, and here again, the verb is in infinitive, okay? Los verbos figuran en infinitivo porque tenemos el auxiliar did. All right, so the answers could be, for example, yes, we did, or no, we didn't. We always use the same auxiliary. Then, for example, we have the famous, in this case, when we start the question using an auxiliary, it's a yes, no question, all right? For example, do you remember yes, no question? The yes, no questions, we must answer them using, of course, yes or no, okay? Every time we make a yes, no question. I'm going to write it over here, okay? Yes, no questions. To answer them, we must use this form. We can say, for example, no, we didn't, or yes, we did, okay? But what happened when we have a WH word? Okay, in this case, we have WH words in these questions. Where did you go? Or what did we see? Okay, so here in this case, we must answer in a different way, okay? We can say yes, no. For example, if somebody asks me, where did you go? I can say, for example, I went to the park, all right? And here, in this case, I used the verb in the past form, all right? Well, remember that grammar boxes are very, very important. So now, we are going to continue working with an exercise, all right? This exercise, we will find it, we will find it in the virtual classroom, all right? We must do this handout and its name is Super Films, Write Questions. All right, let's go to this handout together and here we can find Super Films again. Very good. And um, what do we have to do here? Well, we must write questions, all right? You have to pay attention to the words that are underlined. Let's see number one. Look at the answer. Gemma saw Smallville last night. All right, so this is an information that is very important. So in this case, this answer doesn't have yes, no. So we can't start this question using an auxiliary. We must use a WH word. Can you tell me through the chat the question we must put over here, do you know? Come on, write your answer on the chat. I will give you a clue, all right? For example, the first thing I can write here is what? All right, this is my clue. What? Okay, so if we can see over here that the verb is in the past form, all right? The reason is that we must use an auxiliary in the past, which is the auxiliary we use every time we must do questions in the past form. Did, very good. So we are going to say, 
what did we are talking about Gemma, all right? So we are going to write her name. What did Gemma? And what about the verb? Can we use the verb in the past form? No, we can't because we already used did. So we must use the verb into the infinitive form. See, very good. What did Gemma see last night? Very good. And here we have our first question. Okay, well, let's go to the second one. Number two, Felix was at a football match. All right, this is the important information in the answer. So here we must use, what do you think? Did or a WH word? Can you write a question on the chat? Okay, I will give you a few seconds, come on. Remember, in this part, they are talking about a place, all right? So, what can we write over here? Where, very good. And we must use the verb that we can see here, was, all right? So, how can it continue here? Where? All right, very good. Where was Felix? Felix, all right, very good. And here we have our second question. Now, look at the third one. In our third sentence, if we look at the answer, we can see that the answer starts with no. No, she didn't. Monica didn't have the key. So what do you think, children? How can we start this question? Very good. We must use did. All right. So can you write the entire question on the chat? Come on. Remember that you can use this verb, all right? This verb is very important. So you can use it, you have to use it to make the question. Very good. So we are going to write, did Monica have the key? Very good. No, she didn't. Monica didn't have the key. Did you see? All right. Let's do number four. She waited in the garden for an hour. In this kind of exercises, you must pay attention to the underlying information always, all right? So here we know that she did something. Ella hizo algo, all right? So look at this answer. This answer doesn't start with no and yes. So it's not a yes, no question. So we can't use the auxiliary did to make the question over here. What can we use, children? Please write your answer on the chat, come on. Very good. We can say, what did she do? All right. She waited in the garden for an hour. Excellent. Number five. Monica's mom went to the shops. Here we have important information, all right? So she went to this place, to the shop. Again, this question doesn't start with yes and no, all right? So can we use did over here? Are you sure? Write yes or no in the chat. Of course, we can't use did. We must use another word. In this case, it's a WH word again. So if we are talking about a place, the WH word will be very good, where? And we are talking about Monica's mom. So we can write Monica's mom, and then we need the verb. If we look at the answer, we can find the verb in the past form, okay? But somebody's missing in my question. I need another thing. Look at number four. In number four, I wrote what, and then the auxiliary did. Well, we must write the same over here. So after the WH word, 
we must write did. Where did Monica's mom? And then we need the verb. Well, look at the verb there, went. The verb went in the infinitive form is go. Very good. Where did Monica's mom go? And then we have number six. Look at this. Ben recorded cook for your pet. Do you remember? This is the name of the TV program, okay? But the important information is recorded. So I will give you a few seconds for you to make that question for me on the chat. Come on. Excellent, very good children. What, remember the auxiliary, what did, we are talking about Ben, so we are going to write Ben over here. What did Ben, and we can say two options. We have two options here. We can say, what did Ben do? Or we can say another, which is the other option? Well, look at the verb. Yes, we can say record, all right? What did Ben do or what did Ben record? All right, well, very good. Now here, look at all the questions we wrote together. And here we can find, for example, WH words, all right, in these questions. And in this, where was Felix? Number four requires a WH word again. Number five, where did Monica's mom go? Number six, what did Ben do or what did Ben record, all right? And then we have in number three, a yes, no question that starts with the auxiliary did, all right? Well, remember that if you have any question, you can ask your teacher, all right? Well, here we are and we finished doing this exercise. You will continue working with your teacher through Zoom, all right? Okay, so, uh, children. See you. Bye-bye.